Hi, I'm Bobby Ratcliffe. I'm getting ready to show you how to, uh, I've set up for a uh, church event I have to do tomorrow on the X32 Compact. Uh, this is just a, a brief, quick tutorial on how I set it up to uh, do the choir mics, the drum set, keyboards, baby grand piano, uh, podium mic, and a few other things, subgroups, along with a uh, video feed uh, using a matrix in. To start off with, uh, we got, I have my board laid out where I got the drums in the first six channels of the X32 Compact. I got a baby grand piano in channel seven, uh, eight is blank, I got bass in nine, uh, two guitars in channel 10 and 11, podium mic in 12, I got a lead vocal mic which is wireless in 13, and then I got three choir condenser mics in 14, 15, and 16. Over here I also have the DCAs to where I got the first one right here is the drums, bass, guitar, vocal subgroup, uh, podium mic and baby grand so I can do a 15 channel mix with six faders on this side using DCA groups. Uh, if I go over here to my subgroups, I also have the grum, drums in the subgroup, uh, the bass guitar, the uh, guitars and all the vocals in a subgroup here and then I'm going back to uh, channel 7 over here for a subgroup uh, for the keys. So I have six or actually five subgroups total here that I send to a uh, uh, compressor so I can kind of get an auto mix uh, using the compressor set at different threshold settings uh, to where the vocals are about 5 dB uh, louder than the rest of the uh, uh, things. Um, what I have here also is I have a matrix in that I'm doing a video feed uh, coming out of the back of the board a the auxiliary not the auxiliary but the mix bus channel number five output five because my feed for the front of house is coming out of seven and eight which is left and right I have uh, channel uh, six is actually the output six is a subwoofer feed that I have I use for the uh, center feed as a subwoofer and then I'm using matrix five as the output for video feed so I can come out of that which I've looked all over YouTube trying to find the the you know a good setup with it and everybody kind of gives you about 70 80 percent of what you really need to know and not a hundred percent so that's the reason why I'm trying to do this video see if it help people out uh, how I end up doing some of the uh, sub mixes is if I select uh, the subgroup right here and uh, hit sends on fader, it shows you that uh, I've got the drums unmuted and every, or well, drums unmuted, everything else is muted. And if I go to the bass uh, subgroup, uh, everything's muted except for the bass channel. If I go to guitar, the guitars are unmuted. The vocals here along with the podium mic are unmuted here for this subgroup and then if I go over to the key subgroup then the keys is the only one unmuted and that's what gives me my subgroup uh, going to those channels. If you also notice when you select the subgroup for the drums right here if you look up here on the matrix sends which you can probably can't see it but none of these sends are being sent to that it's only going out to the stereo bus. Uh, left and right, nothing to the mono bus. If I go to the bass guitar, it's going to the stereo, nothing going out the matrix sends. And if you go all the way across, uh, nothing goes out the matrix sends on those buses or these right here uh, until I get to the subgroup bus right here and then it shows matrix send number five. And if I go back down to the matrix right here, I got matrix 5 is my feed out, it's not going to a stereo bus, it's not going out to a mono bus, it's coming out of the back output of number 5, analog output number 5 all together. And if you go to the routing for this here, right here on the analog out uh, page of the routing menu, which you've got, if you toggle to the left, you get the home, you go over one more to the right and it gives you analog out, you go down to output 5. You go over to the category of matrix and then you go to matrix 5 which is representing the matrix 5 here. 
and then I'm going post fader so I can control the output from that matrix mix. Now I've got an entirely separate different mix for the matrix mix than I do the regular mix. If I go back to my subgroup here and go to a regular mix, this is showing me the regular mix for the drums right here. And since this is just barely setting it up, uh, it's a pre-setup and not actual mix. Once I get into the live situation, then I'll have to readjust these and fine tune it. It's just a reference point where the fader is a little lower than normal because I don't want feedback when I first put a microphone on. Uh, then this here is showing a rough mix with a podium mic and lead mic over the instruments and the acquire mics and stuff like that, etc. Uh, if I were to go to subgroups and hit a uh, subgroup here and sends on fader, there's nothing coming out of any of these faders in any of my subgroups. But if I go to my subgroup out for the video feed and hit this right here, now you see a separate mix. Uh, this here is my mix, a total independent mix from the main mix, because uh, this would be the subgroup mix going out here, and if I take sends on fader out, that would be my main mix. And if I hit sends on fader again, then this would be the separate mix, totally different from front of house, going to the video feed that I'm trying to send a video camera. Uh, a lot of times when you send a mix to the front of house, uh, you got, you know, the live drums, you know, is coming through and you're trying to blend the live sound on stage, stage volume along with the PA. And a lot of times, whatever the loudest instrument is on stage, you'd be the quietest in, in your front of house. And when you send a video feed with that same mix, you'll, they'll usually have a guitar that's not loud enough or drums that's not heard very well because, uh, you're not putting it in the PA as much because it's combined with the PA and the live ambient sound. So they have to have a separate mix to get a good balance. And in order to do that, I'll hit the matrix uh, thing right here and I'll hit the solo button. And when I hit solo, you got sends on fader, you push this, you solo that channel, and then you can monitor what the video feed is getting exactly and not front of house. Of course, you wear a set of headphones and then you blend that mix to best you the best that you can when you hit sends on fader again uh, with this uh, subgroup with a matrix subgroup which I'm using subgroup 8 to send to the matrix mix 5 then I can remix what I need to bring up or bring down or whatever to get the right mix to the video feed and when the videographer is uh, content with it and happy with it after a one or two uh, test songs or whatever uh, sound checks then we can pretty much shoot for that and in, in between. I give him one mono feed because he's got two inputs most of the time and I'll give him one off the board which is a mono mix and then he can use a shotgun mic or another mic that he's got to give him a little bit more variation and he can vary between what he's getting with a shotgun mic on board camera and the uh, front of house uh, soundboard mix that I'm doing uh, with an extra feed. So anyway, I hope this, uh, you know, sums up a little bit of uh, the confusion out there as far as what you actually go in and out of. I'll pan around to the back of the board. Uh, if you look at the back of the board right here, uh, see if I can zoom in a little bit. Uh, you have these outputs right here, and my main outs come out 7 and 8. My subgroup goes out of six, and then five will be the matrix mix that I'll send to uh, the video feed. So that's kind of the way you would set it up in that case of scenario. Some people would actually uh, set it up to where they have a stereo left and right out. They might come out of four and five, or three and four, or something like that, and maybe link them together. And that's fine if you're mixing in stereo uh, for the most part. Uh, some of the live events I do, I might mix a little bit in stereo, but it's very little. It might be if I got, uh, you know, a lot of different singers, I might pan a little bit in stereo, or a drum set might be slightly panned in stereo, but other than that, uh, pretty much everything's mono. Hope this, uh, you know, helps everybody out there. Don't forget to subscribe.